Hello, welcome back to another video. So me and this little fella are in Bootle and we are at the site of the former St. Mary's Church. Now, St. Mary's Church was bombed in the war. Now the graveyard, I don't know if you can see any graves there, but the graveyard that was on the actual ground of the church, all the bodies were dug up and they were all put in a mass grave in Bootle Cemetery. Now, there's one gravestone that stands out, which is still here to this day. Well, there's two actually. Now it's Jesse Hartley. Now, if you don't know who Jesse Hartley is, we'll get on to him later on. But just before we crack on, I just want to thank Jonathan Wilde for sending me the link and giving me the information and basically giving me the heads up of this place. Uh, up until that, mate, I didn't know this place existed. And when I seen Jesse Hartley's gravestone was here, I was like, I need to come and check this place out. So come and join us and we'll have a little walk around this derelict cemetery um, and see what it's all about. Right, okay, so here we are in St Mary's Gardens and I think by the sounds of it Eric is scared of the Al Seagulls with his drone so yeah uh, St Mary's Church used to be here and also the graveyard and uh, after it was bombed in the war all the bodies were taken out and put in a mass grave in Bootle Cemetery and all that remains today is just pretty much discarded gravestones. There's no actual bodies in this place, just random gravestones. So is, you know, a couple of couple of random ones. And Eric just rang me and said he crashed his drone. So what have we got here? Looks like a load of gravestones literally just stacked up. As you can see there is just tons and tons and tons of gravestones. You hit that wall? Wow. Right, so we're going to start off with this wall. Now, what it says on the wall is here stood the parish church of St. Mary from 1827 until it was bombed or destroyed in 1941 by enemy action. Right, now, I've just read, it says here, within these hallowed grounds are buried the earthly remains of, uh, whatever that says, 760 persons. Now, I'm told on one I've read on the internet is that the whole sort of graveyard was dug up and all the bodies were put in a mass grave in Bootle Cemetery. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that means, to be honest with you. Maybe someone can jump on the comments and tell me. The churchyard and grounds were restored in the year 1960 by the Mayor of Alderman and uh, Burgesses, Burgesses of the County of Bullet of Bootle, uh, cooperation with the Vicar and Church and the Parish of St Mary with St John. So that all, well, that's all that remains of the church. A tiny bit of wall. So we're going to walk over this way anyway and just have a little gander because, yeah, I was told that there's no actual bodies in here. All the gravestones were just sort of laid back down. Apologies for any wind noise. I'll just give you a quick sort of overview of where we are.
Church Street on the Dock Road. Uh, this is Church Gardens. Is that road just there with the tower block behind it? If I get time today, I might go up to Beetle Cemetery and just have a little look at the mass grave. I mean, I'm told it's just a plot of land. It's just a little sort of lump on the floor sort of thing. So what have we got over here? So say, just gravestones, just randomly just sort of chucked against the wall on that. Love and memory of Charles. Uh, 1911, age 60. Uh, all along there, just all, all discarded. So there's a pathway running through it. Obviously, it's public here, public access. You can walk through it. Yeah, there's some more over there, under there. Yeah, just more. Wow. Yeah. What's that one? Love and memory of John. 1924, age 84. Pretty bizarre little place. Small gravestones just randomly placed on the deck. As you can see, they go all the way up, right the way round. Um, let's see what we've got on the wall as well. Just the wall is just covered. Gravestones just all the way down there. I mean, look at that. That is just unbelievable. In memory of Robert George Blundell, who departed this life. 24th of November 1892 aged 13 years and 10 months Jesus what you've got right behind this uh this place is Bootle Tip. As you can see, there is just a mass, a mass of gravestones. Just some of them are just chucked behind bushes there. You know, not even seeing the light of day. See? I'm not going to stop and I'm not going to read every gravestone. I'm just going to sort of just randomly just film them. It's mad, isn't it? The what? Found anything? <laughs> just, just, this is mad. It's just the way it's all just. Some of them are just. Let's see all the behind them bushes there. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you're not getting visited, are they? You can't. <laughs> well, see, the information is is that they were all dug up and took them to Bootle Cemetery. Yeah. But on that sign there, it says that. There was something like 790 people buried there, but they can't be. Because if they were, there'd be flowers everywhere, surely. Yeah, but how old are you? You wouldn't got to look at the dates on them. And you wouldn't put you wouldn't follow all them graves like that, would you? That's 1897. They're not gonna have relatives visiting them now, are they? Well, you never know. I'd like to think my relatives are gonna visit me after a hundred years, right? <laughs> yeah, you never know. It's not gonna happen, is it? You know, there's no flowers at all, is there? Yeah, but... you know. I don't know. And he was 78. Yeah, 1947. Yeah, that's recent-ish. 
So what is it? This is. Um... See, there's just, just randomly just. You, no, I'm not having. I'm not having those people buried there because, because look, you wouldn't have people buried there, would you? No way. All the way up to here. Years old, 120 years old. Yeah, true. So that tree's not 120 years old. Yeah. Joseph Henry, when did he? Age 89. Okay, no. Yeah, that's the next one next to it. 1843. Wow. So that tree wasn't there in 1843. No. Big on like your fans and all that, George. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll randomly just film these ones. Which? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not abandoned. What it is, it's like an abandoned cemetery, if that makes sense. Yeah, but they wouldn't bury people here like that. No, no, they? not like that. No, it's, a, it's basically what they've done in um, the Cathedral, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Frank. Infant son. Oh, poor Frank. 1867. Wow. It's just a very, really, really strange place. Get thrown with a terrible smack in the face there. Oh dear. Oh dear. I say we all, we all, we all can't be like proper like superstars thrown out. Obviously. Obviously. No shame. Nope. Just, I, I shall bask in your glory. <laughs> Make sure you do. I thought that was a gravestone then. It's a piece of plastic. As you see there, George, basically has no shame whatsoever. He just, he just loves it. Look at from there. Oh, look at that. Oh, my bloody fucking hell. <sighs> it is just a show. I'm, you know, just, I'm just looking down now, there's dog shit everywhere. Yeah. By the way, if you're watching this, thousands of views are watching George's channel, but you're not watching mine. What's going on here? You know what I mean? Is he really the star? <laughs> yeah. No. No, I'm just not coming up. Just... Alright, what have we got here? Big, big, massive one? That's a family, family thing, isn't it? Someone can't be in that, surely. I'm not having that. And that. Is that. Did you see that? It was Ed, Edgar. Dronky. Dronky. Is it? Dronky. Whatever this one is here. Sacred memory that, of. That's a big family tomb, that, isn't it? There can't be people in here, surely. Sacred memory. You think there's people in here? Oh. Dog shit. Dog shit. Alex just stood in some dog toffee. Maybe my luck will change. <laughs> Maybe a sign. <laughs> it's a sign he looks changing. Right, so we're going to take a little look at this, and it is just quite a lot of gravestones all just stacked up on top of each other, sort of creating this little sort of tomb like structure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're just, they're just random gravestones, just all just stacked up. The top one says, uh, the memory of Mary Ann Nicholson, formerly incubant, mm, I can't even read that, died March 24th, 1878, aged 85. This one here is quite random. So that one say uh, uh, deposited until the coming of the Lord the mortal remains of Harriet yeah so I don't quite know what to say I don't quite know what sort of um, going on with this place are the people buried here or is it just sort of like 
you know, where they all taken out and put in Bootle Cemetery, I don't know. That's, that just says it's like, I don't know what that is, but it says there's someone entombed in it or encased in it. So it's a bit, I don't know. Is the, did they leave them people in there? And then did they just randomly take... I don't, I don't get I'll it. Let's be honest, if a bomb's hit it, there's been a lot of debris, hasn't there? No, well, a bomb's hit the church, not the graveyard, I think. And what's happened is, obviously, they've taken all the bodies out, put them in a mass grave, and then they've just laid all the gravestones. Because all these gravestones, if you're going to put someone in a mass grave, you've got nowhere to pull them, have you? No. That you there. Uh... Right, so what's this one here? I'll get it when we go. Right, I do believe this is Jesse Hartley's one. Ah, it is, yeah. Right, so here we have the gravestone of Jesse Hartley. Born 21st of December 1780 and died 24th of August 1860. Now, Jesse engineered most of the docks in Liverpool, most famous for the Albert Dock. So he's done Albert Dock, likes a Bramley Moor Dock and stuff like that. Or Collinwood Dock, Salisbury Dock, uh, Six Face Clock, all that. Now, up until about 2006 and seven, I didn't know who this guy was. So I started sort of exploring around the docks in Liverpool Google and the history of what we had explored and this name kept on popping up Jesse Hartley now it's pretty much it's a shame that the gravestone's been left the way it is obviously Jesse's body was taken away and put in the mass grave when all this was dug up after it was bombed in the war and his gravestone is of national importance that it's sort of taken away and preserved maybe put in the Albert Dock for everyone to see the Albert Dock gets thousands upon thousands of visitors per year and the guy who engineered the most sort of one of the most famous landmarks in Liverpool his gravestones just sort of cast aside and just left so it needs to be sort of I think taken out preserved put on display rather than just left like this obviously every other gravestone in this cemetery is of importance I mean every sort of body that was in here is of importance but this guy alone from what he done for Liverpool is absolutely phenomenal even your new Everton Stadium is sat on a dock which this guy engineered right so that was a little look at the former St Mary's Church that was bombed in the war and the final resting place of Jesse Hartley so if anyone from the Marasai Museum is watching please consider taking this gravestone out and maybe preserving it and put it on display in the Albert Dock so everyone can see so yeah, cheers for watching as always, and we'll catch you in the next video.